Hey all, Bob here, aka Mr. Reef Safe, with another Hurricane Ian update. Ian is headed right for the Tampa Bay area, and it looks like by the time it gets here, it will be a Category 3. There is still time for it to change course, or either intensify or diminish. Hopefully it will diminish, however it is over open water right now, and that's typically where it starts to increase in intensity. As of about an hour ago, Ian is back over the Gulf, which means open water where it is going to intensify over the next several hours. As you can see from this graphic, the worst area will be from Tampa all the way down to Fort Myer. Please have everything ready that you can for your family first, your house second, and your aquarium third. As I mentioned yesterday, I neglected to get some battery air-powered pumps for my stepson's tanks, and these are his two tanks. The one on the left is his uh, kind of community tank, and the one on the right is his Oscar tank. I have since rectified my oversight, and I have two battery air-powered pumps on the way. They should be here tomorrow morning. I had to have them overnighted here, as no local stores had them. My aquarium, of course, is ready to go. I have battery backups on the two gyre pumps, and if we lose power, I will probably unplug one of those pumps just to make sure that the battery lasts longer. In the case of power outage, of course, temperature becomes an issue. I have ice bottles set up in the freezer, all ready to go in case we lose power to make sure that the temperature stays at a consistent level. I have my generator all ready to go, and of course today I will test it out one more time to make sure it is ready. I have extension cords all ready to go. I know where everything is, and when the time comes, it will be ready and set up. Yesterday when I was at the stores, I really lucked out and I found a small window AC unit for sale and I picked that up just in case I need to use it in the fish room. My fish room is also my wife's office. It is a smaller room, which means that the AC unit will work perfectly in there. My wife will be able to work as long as we have power and or internet and this will also make the room a little bit more livable for her to work in. Of course, when she's not working, I'm sure we'll all huddle in that room with the AC unit if necessary. Here's to hoping that the storm diminishes on its way to Florida. But if it doesn't, we pray that you all are safe and secure. Thank you all for the prayers, the well wishes, and the good vibes. This is Bob, a.k.a. Mr. Reef Safe. I will be doing periodic updates during the storm as long as I have power and internet. I'll catch you guys soon.